One of the things that's so interesting about this job is learning about the many different organizations that thrive here in the two state. The CSRA Musicians and Directors Guild is a group of church musicians who meet throughout the year to talk about issues surrounding the music ministry and church worship services or the relationship between pastors and the church musicians. They do a whole lot more. Robbie Gardner is with me today. She is president of the CSRA Musicians and Directors Guild, and she's here along with Bernice Bogan, who has visited our show before to talk about nursing. But today we are talking about music <laughs> and a big revival that you all have coming up. Uh, before we get to the revival, though, I sure would like to learn more about your group, Robbie. You're the president this year. Okay, thank you for asking. Certainly. Our group is a group of, uh, made up of volunteers, and we're musicians and choir directors from various religious backgrounds mm -hmm. and various musical experiences. And the uh, reason that we get together is to support each other. We act kind of like a support group to talk about the things that are really common problems with musicians, right. choir directors, and that things of that nature. And in doing so, it helps to undergird uh, music ministries in different churches and that sort of thing. You know, some of the, the things that I've experienced in terms of church music, a lot of times a congregation has a real resistance to one kind of church music over another. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I've seen in churches where um, you have a, part, a portion of the congregation that wants to be, you know, with very strict about their church music, their hymnals, and then you have a, another group that may want to do contemporary music. Right. And, and some people don't want them to be in the same space. You right. know, okay, if you're going to do a contemporary service, it's going to be somewhere else, but not the sanctuary. And I would think that maybe that's part of part of what you talk about too. Exactly. Yeah, because people have that. really different opinions about exactly. that. Exactly. Right. Yes, they well, really you know, do. They have, um, for instance, young people, they kind of like the hip hop stuff sure. and the, the um, contemporary and uh, then the older people or our seniors even still like the old time where the deacons get up and raise the hymn, read out of the hymn book, but it's a little black hymn book, not, don't have notes in it and it's just no. got the words yeah. and they line the hymns and there are different meters, common meter, long meter, short meter, whatever, and you sing it without music. Now they even sometimes play the organ with the, with the uh, hymns, right. but uh, you have that and then you get away from that and then they want to do the praise teams. Uh -huh. the pra so yeah. praise teams are mm -hmm. uh, the going thing right now and I think it will be for a long time mm -hmm. to uh, have the praise teams in. And not only do we have um, musicians and choir directors, but we have the choir coordinators, some musician, the music, music ministry coordinators, and even presidents of choirs or members of choirs can also join. Okay. Yes. But, okay. But the reason that, that we exist is goes back to the differences in taste and music, and you want to be able to service everyone who comes right. to church, and you don't. We don't, you don't want to see people leave because I don't like they only play one kind of music. Yes. You want to be able to inspire everybody with the different kinds of music that you're able to provide. And that is some of what we talk about. That's a big issue. I bet it really is. And I, and I think um, perhaps if you have a church leader who can't seem to make headway with the pastor in their church, they can't find a common ground, it's probably great to have a space like you all have yes. and, and get feedback from other people who, who have dealt with those same challenges. Right. Exactly. Yeah, we have ministers that's even members of, yeah. The, yeah. of the guild. And uh, we try to talk about things that can improve the uh, communication and coordination between the musicians the music ministry department and the pastors and other leaders of the church. Yes. Love that. Yeah. I love that. And again, that's just something I've just never even thought about that anything like that yeah. exists. But yeah. it makes so much yeah. sense, yes. you know, where you where you have this common ground yeah. and something that you're all working toward. Now, one of the things that you are working on right now is a revival that you're sponsoring coming up September 24th, which yes. is a Sunday. Tell yes. me about that. We do that um, once a year. And it's not a very long service or anything. It starts at five o'clock, and usually it's about an hour, hour, 15 minutes. 
and we have a minister. This time we're going to have uh, Minister um, Elder Dr. Gregory. Gregory Shields, and he's from the uh, Old okay. Time Way uh, Church, um, and he's uh, the youth minister there. And so he would be good to have uh, some youth to come and hear him as well. Right. But um, it will be at the Antioch Baptist Church, uh -huh. and it's located on. I believe Florence Street. It is. It's um, 1454 yeah, Florence, Florence Street. Street. Mm -hmm. And um, the um, community is invited to come. Yes. Yes. And, and the unique, one unique thing about our revival is that we always uh, try to get a minister who has been a musician himself or herself, mm -hmm. which is, um, you know, a way of bringing those two disciplines together, music Yeah, kind of bridging that and gap. Yeah, yeah. 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 so we always do that. Absolutely. And okay. also, we during our uh, meetings, uh, we have uh, education. Uh, we have different presentations, how to get young people involved mm -hmm. in uh, worship. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, presenting what, what is praise and worship. And, the different aspects of music ministry, we, we always we have a presentation. We're constantly doing stuff to enhance and learn and improve, and we want to share that with people. How could other musicians get involved in your group? They can contact any one of us who are members. Okay. Um, our post office box, post office box 1883, they can write us that way. Um, contact us on our Facebook page. So there are a variety of ways they so can get in touch with us. So you do have a Facebook page? We do. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. okay, that's good. That's an easy way to do it. Yeah. We'll have that information for you on our website as well. Robbie and Bernice, I have enjoyed talking with you all so much. Mm -hmm. And um, I hope that you have a really good attendance for the Faithful to Me in 2023 revival. Again, that's mm -hmm. coming up Sunday, September 24th at 5 p.m at the Antioch Baptist Church. That's at 1454 Florence Street in Augusta. The special guest speaker is Elder Dr. Gregory Shields, who's the youth pastor of Old Time Way Church.